Now to campaign 2016, where there's still a lot of attention on the health of the presidential candidates. As Hillary Clinton returns to the campaign trail, we're finally getting to hear what Donald Trump revealed on Dr. Oz. CBS4 anchor Elliot Rodriguez is in the control room with more. Elliot. Rutabay, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton tried to focus on the issues today, while everyone else seems to be focused on their health. There's also focus on the latest polls that show Clinton's poll numbers have slipped after a few days off the campaign trail. Hillary Clinton was steady on her feet as she walked to meet the press on her campaign plane. How are you doing? How are you I am doing? doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. She's back on the campaign trail for the first time since her legs buckled during a 9-11 memorial event in New York last Sunday. Clinton released her health record showing a CT scan revealed pneumonia. She was prescribed a 10-day course of antibiotics and rest. Donald Trump followed suit and disclosed he's taking a drug to lower his cholesterol. I've experimented with three statins, and one seems for me to work the best, and it's really brought my cholesterol down into a good range. In North Carolina, Clinton said she wasn't about to let the flu keep her from a 9-11 event. But nobody ever accuses me of quitting, and I will never give up. I'll never walk away, no matter how tough the going gets. On the Dr. Oz show, Trump was asked about his stamina. Uh, if elected at age 70, you'll be the oldest person to ever enter the Oval Office. Why do you think you have the stamina for the job? Yeah, just about the same age as Ronald Reagan, and, um, and Hillary's a year behind me. I would say just based on my life, I mean, I've had, I, I actually, and I don't know if this makes sense, I feel as good today as I did when I was 30. The health numbers released by Trump showed normal cholesterol, blood pressure, and sugar levels, and he's boasting about his poll numbers. Polls are coming out. Uh, we're leading in so many polls, I can't tell you, I don't know where to begin. But that's a good feeling. Trump has cut Clinton's lead in the latest CBS News poll. She has a two-point edge, but that's within our poll's margin of error. Now, Trump touted a plan to lower taxes during his speech to the Economic Club in New York, while Clinton focused on children and families during her stop in North Carolina. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Elliot, thank you. And stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage of campaign 2016, now through Election Day.